All right, guys, today what we're going to be looking at is deriving the equations of y equals mx plus b and y equals uh, mx. So it's important to realize that this entire lesson is dealing with similar triangles on a line. So if we were to have a equation of a line, so it looks something like this, what we're going to be wanting to do is comparing the triangles that can be made between the points. So what do I mean by that? Between two points, we can always make a triangle on the equation of the line. And what we want to do is be able to use similar triangles. So right now I've created a pink triangle. Uh, so for instance, if I created this green triangle right here, we would want to be able to find the missing values. Now we know that these are proportional. We've looked at dilations before. But now what we're going to do is being able to use these proportions in order to derive or come up with these equations. So let's go ahead and look at this one. It says use dilations and proportionality to show that the equation of a line that goes through the point 0 comma negative 2 and has a slope of 3 over 2 is the equation y equals 3 over 2x minus 2. Now today I'm only going to be going over one of these, so I'm going to show you how to derive the y equals mx plus plus b. So the first thing that it says is we start at negative 2. So this would be minus 1, this would be minus 2. And I know I have a values that go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then over 2. So up 1, 2, 3, over 2. Now that's all I really need there. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. It looks like this and just grow it out over here. Now, the only really important part here is to realize that it starts at negative two. And it went up three and over two. So let's talk about things I know. I know that the distance from this negative two to here is negative two. And I know that the point when I came up and over this is um, um, positive 2 because I went up 3 over 2. Alright guys, the other thing that we need here is a random point. So this point right here is unknown. I just know it consists of an x value and a y value. Now, it gets a little tricky here, but uh, let's go and see if we can figure this out together. This right here is this is the y values, right? It goes up and down. This is my y-axis. It represents my y-value. The ones going left to right are my x-values. So I know that the distance from this point to the origin is 2. Now I know that it's 2 because it's, uh, you know, from negative 2 to 0, the distance there is positive 2. And I know that the distance from the origin to this unknown y-point, we're looking at it right here, this unknown y point is y, which means the distance from this unknown y point all the way down to here, to negative 2, is going to be y plus 2. Now it's a little tricky because it's saying, well, how are we getting this y plus 2? Remember, the distance from the origin all the way up here is y, and to incorporate this minus 2, it would be um, plus 2, because the distance from the origin to the negative 2 is plus 2. That's how I know from the distance from here, from the distance to here, is the y plus 2. Now I know that the distance from, let's go ahead and use another point, the distance from here over is just x, okay? Because um, I didn't go over at all. So now what I need to be able to do is write my proportion of my rise over run. Now remember, my original slope it gave us was 3 over 2. Now using these values, what was my rise from this point to the mystery point y? Well, I know it was y plus 2 all over my unknown x value, which was x. So now what I need to do is isolate y and get it by itself. So I can start by doing that by multiplying both sides by x. 
This would leave me with 3x over 2 is equal to y plus 2. Then what I would do is minus 2 on both sides. This would give me 3 over 2x minus 2 is equal to y. I now have y all by itself, and as you can see, I derived it and was able to get the same equation it has here. So y equals 3 over 2x minus 2 was what I got here. So one more time, it's a little tricky, but what we need to do is figure out the value from this mystery y point to that y-intercept, because they gave that to us. It was negative 2. It crossed through that point. So the distance from negative 2 to the origin was positive 2. That's how I got this plus 2 right here. Then from the origin to an unknown y value, that's just whatever y is. We don't know what it is, so we just put y. Then the distance from um, all the way up here to the x value is just x. And that's how I have the y plus 2 all over x. It's a tricky part, so if you're still having trouble with that, uh, please feel free to email your teacher. So what we want you to do is practice solving for a missing variable when it has two proportions equal to each other. Now the easiest, simplest way to do it to get rid of these denominators is just multiply, cross multiply like this. You could multiply both sides by uh, 40 um, and to get the same thing, so to do like a clearing the fraction. Um, but the easiest, simplest way I would say is just cross multiplying. So this is going to be 8 times 2x is equal to 5 times x minus 2. When I simplify this, I'm going to have six, uh, 16x is equal to 5x minus 10. I'm going to minus 5 on both sides, and that will give me 11x is equal to negative 10. And all I'm going to do is divide both sides by 11 to get x is equal to negative 10 all over 11. This is your final answer here. All right, and the last one is looks a little bit more complicated, but same idea. What we're going to do is cross multiply. So here on the left side, I'm going to have 5, this 5, times 5x minus 2. And now I'm going to uh, write it in red. I'm going to multiply, cross multiply this, 5x minus 1 to the 4. So I'm going to have 5x minus 1 times 4. So what I'm going to do is distribute this to get 25x minus 10 is equal to 20x minus 4. Alright, I like to keep my x's positive, so I'm going to minus 20x on both sides. This will give me 5x minus 10 is equal to negative 4. I'm going to add 10 on both sides to get 5x is equal to 6. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to get x is equal to 6 over 5. And that's your final answer there. As always, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I know deriving the uh, y equals mx plus b and y equals mx can be a little difficult, so make sure you put a star next to those questions if you are struggling so we can go over them in class tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.